KSL Outdoors. From camping in southern Utah to climbing in northern Africa, it's all here on KSL News Radio 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. All right, welcome back. It is uh, nice to have you with us again for KSL Outdoors Radio. And uh, we're broadcasting live today from the Strawberry Bay Marina, where the big ice fishing party will officially kick off this morning. I think somewhere around 8 o'clock, although people are already arriving. Some people were here last night, and some people were still on the ice at 11, yeah, almost say, midnight. Some people night. never went to bed. <laughs> the, the ice fishing party started real early, uh, like around uh, 10 o'clock last night, but they were having some fun out on the ice. Anybody that's been listening to our program uh, for any period of time, and certainly around Christmas time, remembers uh, a story uh, of a caller that called us just, I think it was week at Christmas, wasn't it, Sean? Yeah, yeah, it was right around Christmas time. I was trying to get some ideas for Christmas presents for my oldest boy. Yeah, your son's going through a battle right now that I think we talked about on the air. Yeah, he um, he's dealing with uh, a, acute lymphocytic leukemia, ALL, high risk because he's 17. And then he also deals with uh, a number of uh, mental and behavioral disorders, ADHD, bipolar, um, borderline autistic, and a couple other major. So when, when you mentioned that you'd like to get your son out to learn how to uh, ice fish, I said, I know a guy. I know a guy. And the next time we're up at uh, Strawberry, we'll get Paul. And I, I sent a, uh, an email or a text to Paul, and Paul said, you know, just that fast. Absolutely. We'll get him on the ice and we'll catch some fish. Today's that day, Paul. It is, and we're excited to do it. Um, as soon as we get through talking on the radio, we're going to go out and bust this little guy up a hole and uh, see if we can get him a giant trout through the hole. So, Jamie, how many fish today? Um, two, or two, I've, they, they're, they're both cutthroats. Uh, it can be really difficult sometimes, especially um, when times are tough and, you know, if he gets uh, angry, it can be very difficult to, uh, to uh, make happy again, you know. He uh, argues a lot with his brothers and sisters. and. But, you know, you just love them for what they are and who they are and do the best you can. Uh, you had a cut throw it up to the hole. And then you caught, didn't you catch one of the rainbows? No, you yeah. caught, you, yeah. that was, you got, you had those, did. did you the rainbows? Yeah, you he got both of them. The He's always had a love for fishing. His grandpa um, used to take him quite often to go to uh, different places, uh, Flaming Gorge, to go fishing, or uh, Lake Powell to go fishing, or the community fisheries. Fly fishing and ice fishing was something that he really wanted to do, and so uh, I'm glad you guys made this possible. We got in here, and within 15, 20 minutes, we had bites. Uh, we caught five fish right off the bat, caught a couple more later. My boy just caught one just now, a uh, really nice sized rainbow. And uh, yeah, we've had a great day. What the heck? It's a monster. It's a monster. He's fighting pretty hard, huh? Look at Woo! that. Pulling out, pulling out. Pulling out. Whoa! All right. That is a good looking. Woo! All right. Got one! Big one! Paul and John, Yay! you guys are amazing. So thankful, so blessed that you guys uh, took us under your wing and uh, helped us to get out here and helped us to uh, do the fishing. It's been a, a really fun time for me and for Jamie especially. I am happy now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it on my own. All right. Woo! <laughs>